Today we're here with Mike Murphy, legendary waterman, co-inventor of the water ski kneeboard, co-inventor of the sit-down hydrofoil, and the PureVert wake enhancement system. Today, Mike is working on the next generation ballast system for boats, which is going to revolutionize the water sports industry. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you got going, how you came up with it, and what it's going to do for us. Well, I, I did the PureVert system, which eliminated the pumps uh, to fill your ballast system, which was took up way too much time, too much warranties with pumps, and on and on. Any OEM knows the problems that you have. So, I came up with the PureVert system, which is simply a couple gates, you open them, the bottom of the boat floods, 60 seconds for 2,000 pounds of weight. Uh, it worked great. But what's happening is the wakeboarders now are putting so much weight in their boats, the boats don't want a plane. They need a 454, they need a 502, they need a shifting transmission or a hopped up motor just to get the ballast on top of the water. I'm thinking, that's crazy. So I came up with this system that actually is just floating in the water. It takes three seconds to fill, to empty. It takes about two seconds when you're playing the boat, which is great. That's a huge improvement on the PureVert. But the cool thing about this is I can take off, get the, 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 the wakeboarder up to speed. Say he likes to go 21 miles an hour. I go 21 miles an hour. I push a button. As soon as a scupper, or the pickup deploys off the transom of the boat, I can put a thousand pounds of weight in a boat in two seconds. And I know you're gonna think that I'm boring you, yeah, but we'll go out and we'll film it and you can see for yourself. I've actually got some windows into the floor so you can see the tanks actually fill and empty. Shall we go out and give it a whirl, Tony? Right on, let's do it. I'm gonna go for a lap on the aqua skipper though, real quick on the way to the- Right on, let's go. Okay, Tony, so what I've done is I've cut a couple holes in the bottom of the boat, windows into the ballast tank, so you can actually see how fast it fills, how fast it empties. Here, check out this hole here. And really, to get a real clear picture up here, I put another hole that is actually the, the air vent. You have to have as much air going in as you have water coming out, or it would literally blow the floorboards off the bottom of the boat, right? But as long as, as the air goes out, there's absolutely no pressure on the, on, the, on the floorboards of the boat. So I'm going to fire it up. You can shoot a picture in that hole and you can see when it's empty, okay? You okay. Okay, yeah. here's the cool part, Tony. Even if we're stopped, we're going to take off with the skier, the tank is full, right? As I take off, 500 pounds of water, is it? No, it sure isn't. Okay, how this gate works is it has three positions. It has an open position, which you can see that bolt, you can see that bolt, they're all the way to the very top. That's the, that is the, the drain position. When this bolt moves to the center of here, and this bolt moves to the center right here, that bolt now is closing that gate, it closes the gate. As it pushes back out, this bolt comes to this position, this bolt comes to this position, now you're in the scupper position. What you're looking at is a transom of the boat into the ballast tank. This is the actual size of the hole that we get the ballast through. We've taken it off to show you that. Here at Canyon Lake we have an issue with uh, zebra mussels or quagga mussels being in ballast tanks and there's no way for them to look inside the tank to see if this is a problem. Uh, here it's not a problem. You can actually look up there, they can take a flashlight, they can look, they can see it's dry. Yeah, another concern I had with the, the, the PureVert system is it used to be plumbed through the transom into the boat, into the tank. This isn't like that at all. This is 100% plumbed externally on the boat. The National Marine Manufacturers Association, the NMMA, had had a problem of leaking, anything that could leak in the boat could sink the boat. 
That can't happen with this. If this had a catastrophic, catastrophic failure and actually blew up, at the very most, the only thing that could happen is you'd fill your ballast tank. I've been working on this, Tony, for about a year now, and this is about the hundredth try to try to figure out how to make everything work. And it's it, we finally got it where it works. It'll go through all the motions, but now what we're doing is we're trying to figure out exactly what type of a cylinder actuator to use. Uh, we're working on smaller ones so it doesn't get in the way of the swim step. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a long, long go. It's finally working. We know it works. We just need to make it work better. Spent thousands and thousands of dollars on R&D on this, thousands and thousands of dollars on, on patents to make sure it's patented really good so nobody tries to kype it from me. Uh, Mama didn't raise two dummies. Anyhow, it's, it's real close. Where does this invention stack up compared to your other ones? And what, what do you think is the future is going to hold for this one? I, I think this is way bigger than the air chair, sky ski, curvet wake system combined. I mean, I go out with wakeboarders all the time that put 2,000 pounds of ballast in their boat. The boat doesn't plane. It, it has a hard time planing with all that weight in it. So what do they do? Oh, get a 454, a 502, a shifting transmission. To me, what if you could do it with a regular 350, a stock 350 Chevrolet in a regular boat? I mean, you plane it with no water. It takes five seconds to fill the ballast tanks. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, Tony. It's going to make planing boats with ballast in it totally obsolete in a short time. Do you have a name for it? Instafill. Instafill? Mm -hmm. Why do I need the Instafill? Why do you need it? Have you already had a wakeboard boat with a ballast system in it? Uh, yeah, it, it fills up a lot of water. How many pounds of water does it hold? How, many, how, mu how much is your ballast system? Uh, I don't know, 1,800 pounds maybe. How long does it take your boat to plane? Uh, that part's not so good. Well, how about when the boat's empty, how fast is it plane? Oh, that, that's all right when it's empty. Well, if you could plane this boat empty and fill it in five seconds, do I really need to try to sell you on a system if I'm not BSing you? Here's the video. Here's what it does. I don't need to sell you. You've been in a boat with ballast. It's a no-brainer. Do you, do you want to spend 15 or 20 percent more gas in your boat getting up the plane because all the weight? Do you want to wear out transmissions and motors? That's a no-brainer. Now, uh, I, I bought a new prop uh, for my boat because I was, you know, I needed a little more power out of the hole. Will I have to uh, have a special prop for this thing? Absolutely not, because you don't need any more power out of the hole. You power out of your holes as if there was no ballast in it. So how much extra? How much extra is this thing going to cost? Uh, Probably about a, a quarter of what a 454 or a 502 or a shifting transmission would be. I would imagine this is going to be about a $3,000 option. Sign me up. I'm ready. Instafill, baby. The next invention from Mike Murphy, legendary waterman.